Hi, welcome to our channel. I'm Mark and in this series of videos I'm going to be showing you what I've packed in my survival bag. I don't know if it's a case of my age, watching too much news, or watching too many zombie movies. Oh. Back, back! You've been fed! Back! <laughs> Hi, sorry about that. Gertrude's in the process of being trained at the moment. She was only knocked out in the last video. And in our world, zombies can be trained. Or well, we hope so, anyway. Um, what I'd like to add is that I'm not being paid for any of the items you see within this video. I haven't had any freebies from the companies. I'm just a regular guy that's gone out and enjoyed the process of putting the survival items together in his bag. Um, there are links to these items in the description if you want to have a look at more detail. I hope you enjoy this series as much as I've enjoyed going out and getting the items and putting them together. Okay, today's review is on survival knowledge. Uh, I'm going to be reviewing uh, Les Strude's Survivor Man series, uh, John Wiseman's SAS Survival Guide. Uh, he's a former SAS soldier, uh, 26 years in service, and he's produced this wonderful uh, pocketbook. And a former British captain, uh, Ed Stafford, uh, Naked and Marooned. Hi, so let's start on this review. Um, the first DVD we're going to look at is Les Strude's Survivor Man. I actually came across this series on the Travel Channel and thoroughly enjoyed it, so much so went out and bought the DVD. Um, he's made about four seasons. This is season one. Uh, it's got two discs and there's different scenarios of survival in each disc. Now this chap is severe. He doesn't take a camera crew with him. He carries his own cameras, puts himself in situations of survival, and he's got to survive for seven days. That, the only thing he tends to take with him is one multi-tool. So he's got no food, no water, no knife, nothing, apart from this multi-tool. And he's got to find food, water, build shelter, and create fire to survive. And in the situation, he either tells you how to survive in that location, or how to survive and move to get to an area where you can be picked up and rescued. Um, extremely good. If you're going to watch a DVD on how to survive in various locations, this is the one to watch. Um, just to run through uh, what's on here, on disc one, he's showing you um, desert survival, uh, how to survive in a boreal forest, uh, how to survive in a swamp and a jungle. On disc two, he finds himself in the extremes of the Arctic, uh, mountain survival, uh, a winter plane crash, uh, canyon lands, and also lost at sea. Really enjoyed this se series. A wealth of knowledge, brilliant to watch. We then come on to the next DVD, which is uh, an ex-captain uh, in the uh, British Army, Ed Stafford. Now, this chap's uh, claim to fame was that he was the first man to walk the length of the River Amazon. And to test himself even more, he's made a, another DVD called Naked and Marooned. And in this one, he's literally put on a desert island, naked, without anything. And he's got to survive for 60 days. Now, in survival, they say three minutes, three days, three weeks. That's three minutes you can survive without air, three days without water, three weeks without food. This chap's got to survive 60 days on the desert island and fend for himself. Really good to watch. Um, extreme. Uh, Love this one and thoroughly enjoyed it. And I watch both these DVDs on a regular basis just to keep my knowledge up to date and uh, fresh. We then go on to Lofty Wiseman's SAS Survival Guide. Now this is a British guy who was served in the SAS for 26 years and his wealth of knowledge is within this book. 384 pages, fits in the palm of my hand, so it fits in the rucksack. And the way I look at it, if you're in a survival situation, you don't have access to the outside world, no internet, um, no communications. But if I've got this book in my rucksack, I've got his 26 years wealth of knowledge with me. I'm going to survive. Um, just to show you what's in here, uh, he talks about how to pack a survival bag to start off with. He also explains what precautions and procedures you need to make if you're going on a trek into the wilderness um, and the best ways to make that trek safe. 
He also then goes on to, if you were in that survival situation, how to survive. If you're on your own, if you're with other people, what procedures you need to do and the priorities you need to take in order to make sure that you live. He talks about how to find water, how to look at the local wildlife as a means to tell you how far fresh water is from where you are, how to look at the natural uh, vegetation to find water, how to actually get water from the vegetation that's growing around you. Um, he then goes on to fire making, uh, various different kinds of ways to make fire, that's all in here. He then talks about um, how to test for unusual plants, whether they're safe to eat or not. Um, the worst thing you want to do is pick a, a, an unknown fruit and find that it ends up killing you. <laughs> so he shows you a test to how to do it gently so that you can stop before you do yourself any damage. Um, he then goes on to the various first aid quant qualities of various vegetation. Um, if you're suffering from headaches or pain, there's various plants that have within them um, ingredients that are going to help relieve that pain. If you've got upset stomach, there's other plants that can help on that and so forth. So it's an extremely good book. He also talks about various other forms of first aid how to look after other people and how to look after yourself if you're in that situation where you have got injuries and you need to help yourself. Um, he talks about trapping, how to build traps for animals, how to build traps for birds and fish. It's all within this book. He also explains how to clean the animal once you have killed it, how to cook it and also how to preserve the meat so that you've got rations that are going to take you further forward. Um, also within the book, it explains various uh, ways to tie knots, um, how to build shelters, um, and how to make signals that are recognised worldwide so that if anyone was to fly by or to see where you've been in the past, so that they can follow your trail through, i.e. a jungle, um, he shows you how to do that. Great source of information, and I think for the size of it, it's got to go in your bag. Therefore, you've got his 26 years knowledge with you and you're going to survive. You're going to get out of that situation alive. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Not only have we got this series of videos, but Naomi's also doing her Filipino kitchen, where there's some wonderful Filipino recipes, all presented in English for you to enjoy.